Welcome to the next tutorial in this series. On this tutorial, we're gonna talk about autopilot. We're not gonna get into the specifics about while well, using autopilot, we're gonna talk about how to get it on, how to get it started, what all the functions mean on it, navigating autopilot, that kind of thing. So let's get started. So first off, what do you need to use with autopilot? So this gear stock right here is what's gonna be your best friend when it comes to using your autopilot. Now right now, we're just talking about autopilot. We're not talking about navigating autopilot, which is what you get when you pay currently $8,000 for the full self drive package. So what's gonna happen is this thing right here, when you pull it down one time, what it'll do is it'll put it put it onto your adaptive cruise control. You pull it down two times and it's gonna put it onto um, autopilot and auto steer. Now, if you already have it in um, uh, regular cruise control, you still do have to pull it down twice again to get it into autopilot. You can't just pull it down one more time. So now for example, we're on a freeway going 70 miles an hour. Okay, and let's say we want to turn on adaptive cruise control. We pull this down one time and it this turns blue. It says your max is now 71 miles per hour, but I still have to steer. You see how the line went blue right there? That's a safety feature because I veered onto the lane and it corrected me back. So now if I wanted to put it into auto steer, autopilot right now, if I just pull it out one more time, nothing happens, right? That would have just put it again in adaptive cruise control. So a lot of times people ask me, well, if it's one pull down for adaptive cruise control, couldn't you just pull it down one more time for cruise, um, autopilot? The answer is no, you need to do it twice. So ready? One, two. Then you see these two blue lines. Two blue lines means it's like bumpers on the side of the road. It's just gonna keep you in the lane. It's not gonna do anything else for you. It's not going to do any lane changes. It's not gonna do any of that kind of stuff for you automatically. Instead, it's just gonna keep you within the line. So think of it just like you're bowling, it's just steering for you. It's auto steer, okay? And so, if you wanna get out of autopilot, there's a few ways you can do it. One thing you can do is hit the brake. So watch, if I just tap the brake a little bit, it goes right back out of it. Now, if I go into cruise control now, now first of all, watch this. If I go down low, okay, I was, six, I was going 65 when I put it into, uh, well, let me put it back here, into autopilot. It'll put me back up to my max speed, whatever that happens to be at. Okay, and so another way you can take it out and put it back into uh, autopilot is you could simply, or take it out of autopilot, is push this gear stock all the way up, like that. See how that also took it out of autopilot? So those are two ways you can do it. The third way of doing it, it's a little bit weird, and that, and it, I don't recommend doing this, but that is if you kind of fight it, and you kind of jerk the car, you have to kind of jerk the car, move the steering wheel, that'll also pull it out of autopilot. So those are the three ways, so brake, gear stock, uh, and move, and taking control of the steering wheel. And it's good that the steering wheel one is there because if you're like, oh shoot, it's gonna do something I don't want it to do and you grab the wheel, it won't fight you anymore. Once it, once you finally got it, it'll get it. Now, if you do have the full self-drive package while you're on autopilot, you can hit the uh, blinker uh, stock over there. For example, right turn and it will change lanes for you assuming there's no one in the lane, uh, which that works out really nice. I use that all the time. And uh, so that's how you get it into autopilot. That's how you get it out of autopilot. So what does autopilot do right now uh, in the current update uh, and status that this video is being taken in? Which you can see the software update I have right now is version 10.2.2020.24.6.4. We will cover in the next video. But in this short tutorial, I wanna share with you guys how you get it in autopilot, how do you get it out of autopilot, and don't forget, you have to keep your hand on the wheel at all times in autopilot. As of now, make sure that you keep your hand down on the on the steering wheel. I keep it on the bottom left uh, side of the uh, steering wheel, and that's where you'll you'll keep enough pressure on the wheel that it won't have you constantly uh, winding at you to be touching the wheel. And about every 30 seconds, it makes you put some pressure on the wheel so it knows that you're still alert and watching and in control. So hope that helps. See you guys on the next video.